Yeah, just a reminder. It uh, you know, you high, due to high risk, the uh, possible way for like police do not have any uh, gatherings of any kind uh, until uh, it is uh, safe to do so. Uh, especially during Victoria Day, uh, who knows uh, who might get affected? Uh, you know. And this has been uh, approved by uh, Dr. Peter Juni. So anyways, uh, today's coronavirus cases has dropped. And uh, on uh, coronavirus day uh, 435, uh, stay at home uh, day uh, 44. Twelve days left until until uh, the three phase uh, plan starts, uh, and I got the details down below. So you probably already uh, heard heard hear, heard me rambling about like uh, you know the stay at home rules. Uh, so you probably have it drilled in your head, right? So yeah. So, anyways, today the. Cases is that is that one thousand eight hundred and ninety. Again, today's case is that ending ending it with zero, like yesterday's, and we're back to the like a uh, thousands. Uh, so uh, four hundred sixty nine uh, cases are from uh, Toronto. Uh, four sixty eight. It's from Peel Region, uh, 165 from York Region, 101 from Hamilton, and uh, 107 from Durham Region. Uh, all other regions are reported under 100. Uh, 27 deaths are reported. The same as yesterday's num number, actually. Yeah. Looking at it. Variant cases, uh, of course. Uh, UK variant is dominating at uh, one hundred fifteen thousand uh, seven hundred ninety-nine, uh, which is a, an increase of uh, plus uh, one thousand two hundred and thirty, six hundred ninety-one. Uh, Variant uh, cases, uh, South African uh, variants, uh, which is uh, in third place, actually, uh, of course, uh, ever since uh, a couple months ago, uh, where uh, the Brazilian variants uh, topped it with seven. They made it to second place. Uh, the known as our second, usually our second highest uh, threat. What currently looking at it right now is that uh, two thousand one hundred and forty forty two. Uh, an increase of plus fifty three. And of course, India double mutant variants uh, were last reported at uh, 45, uh, but uh, well, we don't know where that is uh, from. And the government has not done much. Uh, so, and of course, India is going through a hard out, extreme uh, wave of. Uh, two of a uh, coronavirus uh, due to coronavirus cases and the India double mutant variant and of course Doug Ford has uh, had sent uh, ventilators uh, to help uh, Indians affected in uh, India 500 has uh, landed um, and a uh, next batch is uh, going out uh, I don't know when but yeah, they they will be sending another one 
and uh, Doug Ford had re requested the uh, stricter uh, airline uh, restriction because uh, the federal government isn't bothering to do that right now. And of course, there is uh, no uh, mass uh, screening uh, to detect the India double mutant variant, unlike the other three, uh, which is kind of stupid. So, vaccine bookings, uh, if you want to get book your vaccines, uh, you know, you can do it on the website. Uh, COVID19.ontario.ca uh, slash book vaccine uh, by phone uh, 1-888-999-6488 at a pharmacy you will have to wait and also uh, you can uh, do it through uh, the local uh, server in uh, your uh, local uh, health um, un unit uh, because they're also doing that, apparently, uh, yes. So, uh, they're now you're going to be uh, using uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine, uh, too, now, soon. Um, I'll get to that one for a sec. Vaccine bookings are available for, uh, you know, have been available for those 18 plus uh, this week. This week, uh, so yeah, if you're, yeah, you can uh, sign up. Ch children, uh, youth, uh, 12 to 17, uh, can, uh, can uh, start on May 31st uh, to book their vaccine, or through, and also through uh, special dedicated youth and family clinics uh, the week, uh, through the week of uh, June 14th and June uh, 21st, uh, and, uh, Youth in Peel Region, Lambton County, Guelph, and Chatham Kent Region uh, can uh, register now th this week. And your and a new update: York Region just joined the joined joined the lot. And yes, uh, so uh, youth uh, can uh, sign up uh, now apparently. So of course the, the border. So uh, the Ontario government uh, three phase uh, border rule. So we think the, the will be effectively so scrap the color zones uh, and uh, we're going back. We're going to do use a uh, state stage one two one two three. Uh, so how it's going? How it's going to work is. Uh, Starting tomorrow, uh, outdoor recreational amenities will be open with, of course, special limits. Of course, uh, you can uh, like do it in large numbers. Uh, so of course, people are going to have to limit uh, the capacity and uh, wear ma wear masks. Okay, so that's acceptable, right? You wanted that, you got it. So please uh, make sure you uh, wear a mask at all times. Stay uh, two meters away from me, other people, uh, you know, physical distancing. So phase one is, uh, so it's the, this, this is the first stage. Uh, phase, uh, outdoor gatherings for up to 10 people maximum of, uh, and they, they, they can mix uh, from, out, uh, from uh, other households. Uh, yes, this has been approved by the provincial government. So patios uh, are open with four people per table. Okay, up to four. Retail, uh, well, uh, is uh, twenty for essential businesses. It's uh, twenty five percent capacity. Non essential businesses, it's fifteen percent capacity. So uh, yeah. Outdoor religious ceremonies and uh, rites uh, with the. Uh, 
and of course that are allowed with the capacity limits and physical distancing outdoor sports and training are up to 10 people max day camps and campgrounds on ontario parks host horse racing speedways outdoor pools zoos and splash pads are open and uh, this is all uh, after uh, Sometime at like a right sometime at, after uh, the stay at home uh, rules uh, you know is over June second uh, so uh, there will be like a special uh, date uh, to do that I will uh, I'll announce it once the they get show it uh, show it to. Uh, this right now so uh to, but we can to move on to phase two uh three weeks have to go by 70 percent of the uh, eligible people getting uh, their first shot of that coronavirus uh, vaccine uh, and 20 percent of our uh, residents are uh, getting a second shot that that are the three, requir three requirements and uh, if uh, there is some uh, issues uh there will be some extensions. So phase two, outdoor gatherings is twenty five percent, twenty five people maximum, and indoor indoor gatherings is five people maximum. Okay. So it's basically like red, like you know, stage four or uh, red drone rules. You know, as you probably remember, outdoor pa patios. It's, it's, uh, like seating that is uh, six people maximum non-essential uh, retail uh, it can uh, is uh, at 25% uh, personal care uh, places can open like you know hair cutters uh, and other personal care services uh, with masks on at all times uh, if you if you have to like uh, take off your mask, yeah, that post that place won't be open. Outdoor meeting and event spaces and amusement parks, uh, water parks, uh, board tours, uh, county fairs, sport leagues and events and cinemas and art our fa venues will be open. So that's good news. Okay. Requirement to to move on to phase three. Of course, three weeks. 80% of requir residents are getting uh, their uh, first uh, shot, which most people would, would have uh, got their uh, first shot. And 20% and twenty five percent getting their uh, second shot. And um, of course, more indoor activity. Uh, so it's that, basically. But of course, uh, if there's uh, going to be uh, any coronavirus cases that uh, increase, uh, that will be delayed. And uh, phase three, larger indoor and outdoor gatherings. Uh, so uh, they didn't they didn't give a, give a specific number, but so it's just yeah. They're just going to allow it, uh, basically. Uh, indoor dining will be allowed. Greater expansion of uh, capacity for uh, retail, okay. Larger indoor, the religious services, rites and ceremonies, okay. Now, indoor meetings and event spaces, uh, indoor sports and recreational facilities uh, allowed, open, are allowed to open and um, and of open for use uh, indoor seating uh, seated events attraction and cultural amenities that uh, those are allowed casinos and bingo halls are open so and other uh, outdoor phase two of act activities are allowed to can uh, operate uh, indoor, uh, you know, like indoor sports.
topic one today I want to talk about is how Ontarians will be uh, be able to get the the receipt of a uh, receipt of a uh, the first and second uh, coronavirus, uh, coronavirus uh, vaccination uh, online uh, starting May uh, 25th. Uh, the Ontario government uh, says that residents will be able to access the proof of their coronavirus vaccination online starting May 25th. Uh, so Ontarians will be able to log into the provincial portal at Ontario.ca to get a uh, PDF uh, copy of their vaccination receipt for both the first and second doses. Uh, so more than okay, that's 7.7 million vaccine doses have been administered uh, in Ontario, and 4,495,757 fully fully So, uh, pe uh, they will also announce that the people who got the, the first shot of the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, will also be able to get their second dose uh, after the vaccine was paused due to a uh, rare uh, blood clotting and it's extremely rare, so yes. And of course, the, if, the, looking at the records, uh, apparently we beat the U Americans. So, apparently that's going to be available. And of course, the second dose, dose of AstraZeneca vaccine that will be available. Uh, this one. So the second dose uh, administration uh, will uh, begin. Uh, so. Uh, those who got the AstraZeneca vaccine uh, shot will, uh, yeah, you'll get that first, uh, okay? So that the first dose will, for those who received their, received their, uh, the first uh, dose after March 19th, uh, between March 10th and March 19th. So uh, they will, uh, according to the Dr. David Williams, uh, they will be able to get their uh, second shot with the recommended uh, interval of 12 weeks. Uh, I think that uh, that's a, uh, That's almost uh, 112 days. The National uh, Admin Advisory C Committee on Immunization now uh, will uh, they're, they're still planning on maybe they'll be mixing uh, so it's, uh, but there has been no word on that yet. Um, just 
just a reminder the EMCPA uh, is uh, still in effect. Uh, $750 per person uh, charged uh, if uh, there are uh, if people are ha ha having a gathering the and sometimes uh, an, an additional of $130 uh, surcharge $880 through ride checks thousand dollars for preventing others from following orders ten thousand dollars for who for those who organize or plan the gathering one million is severe and possibly jail time so uh that hospitalizations is uh, a bit lower now with uh one thousand two hundred and sixty five uh, hospitalized Minus 55, 715 uh, in, uh, ICU patient, uh, minus 6, and 510 uh, ICU patient uh, using a ventilator, plus 17, so less stress for the critical care nurses. Okay, cool. Long term care home, the death is at uh, now 3768 plus 1. 13 uh, deaths is uh, still uh, in a. That does not change uh, staff deaths. Since uh, May 15th, uh, outbreaks uh, are th uh, 34 right now, so uh, that's a minus 3. So please uh, follow coronavirus safety rules and regulations and stay at home rules. Uh, don't have any gathering, uh, especially on Victoria Day uh, for the safety of others. Uh, you can start to have uh, gatherings in very small numbers once phase one starts. I will announce the dates officially uh, when that happens. Just don't have a gathering of any kind. Please, please, please. Stay safe.